This is the Lightworks Smart Neon Flex. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this light and talk you through all the different features that are included with this device. I'm the before you buy guy and on this channel you'll find heaps of technology reviews. If that's something that interests you, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. The Lightworks Neon Flex can do some really cool things, but there are some negatives about this device and I'm gonna share with you all of those and more. So keep watching, let's get started. So I purchased this from Bunnings here in Australia, but you could also try eBay or Amazon to see if there's any for sale there. This is a really unique product and it offers a lot of different features. Let's take a look what comes in the box. So the first thing you'll find is this plastic tube light. You get a packet of clear brackets and some screws. And you also get a remote control. This remote control, it does come with a battery included. And to set this up for the first time, all you'll need to do is remove the plastic insert. This light tube is five meters in length. Now the cord that comes with this device to plug it into the power is also a generous five meters, which means you don't have to be really close to a power point depending on where you wanna use this. Now, there are multiple ways that you can control this light. The first one being with this remote that's provided. For me, this remote worked straight out of the box. There's no need to pair it with the device. All you need to do is remove the plastic and it works straight away. Using the remote, you can turn the light on and off you can control the brightness as well as selecting red, green, blue, or any of the other 12 preset colors. Now, another way to control this light is using the mobile phone application. For both Apple and Android devices, the app that you wanna search for is called Magic Home. Search for the Magic Home app and go ahead and install it. Once you're in the app, it'll ask you to sign in or create an account. If you decide to set up an account, you'll be able to control the app using Google Smart Speakers or Amazon Alexa. With an account, you can also control devices when you're away from home. I feel like it's important for me to note though that you can actually set this light up and use it without setting up an account. So you can pair your phone up with the light and control the light completely without actually logging in to an account. Well done to Lightworks on this one because not everybody wants to set up a brand new account for every single new piece of smart tech that you buy for your home. Once you are inside the app, connecting your light to the Wi-Fi network is fairly straightforward. Just follow the in-app prompts. After I connected this light, it was working well for a short time, but it seems to drop the connection every now and then, and you have to go through the whole process of reconnecting the device. I'm not sure if this is just my light, which is faulty, or this is a common problem. I had to factory reset my light and reconnect it a few times just when making this video. Inside of the app, you can change the different colors of the light and you can change the brightness. You can also set the colors up to kind of dance to the music. There are two ways to set up this music feature. You can use the microphone on your phone to listen for sound and then relay this back to the light. You can also play music that is directly downloaded on your device. Now my experience of this feature is, I think it's really cool, but when using the microphone for me, the light didn't seem to be perfectly in sync with the music. It was slightly delayed. You might not notice this, but it did bother me. When playing the music directly from the device, the light seemed to be better timed than when using the microphone. You can also set this device up to work with your voice assistants like Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant, simply give a command like change the light to blue and it should change for you. If you do want to find out how to connect a device to Google Home or Amazon Alexa, there's tons of videos that you can watch on that. I'm not going to cover in this video. Now this does work great as long as your light stays connected to your Wi-Fi, which for me was a bit of an issue. 
There is also a timer in the app, which you can use to set this light to come on at a specific time. Another cool feature of this light is that it's rated for water resistance at IP44, meaning that you can actually use this device outside, but don't plug the wall adapter in outside, just the cable itself is fine to be used in the outdoors. So you could use this in your backyard for entertaining guests or in your front yard for a light display. The cable, it's fairly flexible, but the instructions do warn you against bending this to a full 90 degrees. You can have quite sharp curved bends, but not right angles. If you're a creative type, I'm sure you could shape this light into all kinds of interesting positions. I do quite like this light overall. I like the way it looks and I love the long list of features that are included. It's great that you can use it with voice assistance and I love that you don't have to set up an account if you don't want to. What I didn't like about this light was it seems to randomly disconnect from your Wi-Fi. Even though the setup process is quick and easy, it's still annoying having to reset it up again and again. I think the manufacturer is aware of this issue since they provide a leaflet with instructions on how to reset the device if you can't connect to Wi-Fi. Another thing that actually quite annoys me about this light is for some reason, at some levels of brightness, the light seems to emit weird sound. Now this sound, it's not very loud, but it's constant. And for me, after I heard it, I couldn't unhear it. I found that at 100% brightness, the sound would disappear, but when turning the brightness down, the sound would come back again. I'm not here to tell you whether you should buy this light or not. I'm just here to give you the information so that you can make the most informed decision. And I hope this video was helpful for you. If you found it valuable, please consider subscribing, give the video a big thumbs up, and check out some of my other videos popping up on the screen right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.